Hi there, my name is Dr. Kerry Yerke. Today I'm going over proper desktop posture. It's been a popular topic in the clinic and today I wanted to go over what good posture is and what poor posture is sitting at your desk. So my name is Dr. Kerry Yerke. I'm a chiropractor here in uh, Kelowna, British Columbia. And often I get the question about posture. What's good posture and what is poor posture? Well. Good posture is when the uh, head's at the height of the top of the monitor, like in this position right here. Uh, too often I see the monitor low and the person's looking down, which will stress the back part of the neck because you have to look down and flex the neck and it's going to cause some compression of the discs and the spine in the front if you do that over and over again on a daily basis. So the head has to be at the height of the top of the monitor. The arm should be resting comfortably on armrests, and that's another issue that I see is chairs without armrests that cause the person to have their shoulders uh, and their arms hanging down, uh, not supported, or on the edge of the, the desktop rather than on an armrest. So an armrest is very important. And then the wrist should be on the desk, uh, just resting comfortably, and then the fingers go onto the keyboard. Um, and the desk height and the armrest should be fairly level, like in this picture right here. Uh, your back should be supported. So uh, a backrest, the higher it goes up, the better. Some of them have a headrest behind them. Those are good. And just make sure it's at a uh, close to a 90 degree angle like this. Um, the knee should be slightly bent, but open. So instead of it being a 90 degree angle, about 110 degrees open like that is good. Uh, you need a little bit of um, uh, uh, pressure taken off the back part of the knee, so that's why it has to be open and it's good for the joint. And then your feet should be flat on the ground, just like that. You shouldn't be reaching uh, or sliding forward to get your feet on the ground. So just feet comfortably on the ground. So this is good posture. And then we're going to talk about standing posture uh, here in a second. So you want to switch every 30 to uh, 60 minutes. If you don't have a standing desk, I would encourage you to get one uh, or get one that can um, adjust automatically or manually from a seated seating to a standing position. So back and forth seated to standing. And um, every 30 minutes is a good idea, but I would say 30 to 60 minutes is a good range to be switching positions. If you don't have a standing desk, then just stand up, walk around a bit and then go back to your desk. Uh, standing is good, but you need a mat with a cushion, a cushion um, mat. So there's some rubber mats or wrapped mats that absorb uh, the force from standing or your shoes need to have enough cushion that it supports um, uh, the weight bearing. So you don't want your feet getting uh, tired while you're standing. And then just good posture while you're standing. Again, the, the monitor should still be at eye level. Uh, the ear, shoulder, hip, and the ankle should all be lined up. Sometimes what I see is this type of posture where the person has two monitors, but they're looking to the side because um, the way they've set up the monitors or maybe the desk is too small. And this is a no-no because if you're always looking to the left, you're going to be straining the muscles on the left part of the neck more than the right. And it's going to cause tension and contraction on the left causing an imbalance. Uh, so we don't want to see that type of compensation uh, left to right. What we do want to see is your desktop set up so you're centered on both monitors like this and that your um, keyboard and then your mouse are centered on the two monitors. So everything's lined up so you're equally looking right and left between the two monitors. If you do have neck pain, muscle tightness, headaches, or referred pain down into your shoulder blade region, down your back or down your arms, then consult with a health professional or go see your chiropractor because it could be a sign that um, the muscles or the nerves are getting irritated, inflamed, and need to be um, treated. Um, if you would like to read a book uh, where I talk about neck pain, I did write a book on Amazon and uh, you can get it by going to Amazon and then there's a paperback, there's the ebook and there's an audiobook version of that uh, both on Amazon um, in the US and in Canada. 
I am accepting new clients. I'm located at the Landmark 4 in Kelowna. That's the middle building right there. We're open seven days a week and some nights we're open until 7 p.m. So it's very easy to book an appointment. Uh, you can um, click on the link below in the show notes and that'll take you to the booking page where you can always call uh, me directly. Uh, we do bill uh, directly to insurance, including ICBC. No doctor referrals needed. We have digital x-rays on site, shockwave, laser, and decompression. Uh, we do hands-on and instrument adjusting, and it's safe, gentle, and effective. I've been practicing 30 years, and I've seen over 10,000 patients now over my career. So um, if you have any questions, please type them in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer those. I check those uh, once a day. And if you need any help, please reach out to me. I'd be happy to help you.